these people who are doing those reaction videos are just having too much fun. I want to join in the party and I want to have a, myself a little bit of reaction video. So about our, our little brother here, I am Mar Mara. Yes, he is quite a character and we love I Am Myra. All of these reactors, you know, we all love I Am Myra and I Am Myra knows that we love him. At one point, I did not want to deal with this dude. When I first heard of him, I said, no, I am not subscribing. I'm not watching this guy. I'm not going to give him any views because I heard that he had a Chinese or Oriental girlfriend. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like the typical, you know... Um, colorist black male so I'm, why am I going to support such a person so um, that's how I heard about him and then um, because at the time I got hooked that was during the pandemic I got hooked on Trudy and then one day I think Trudy must have broken up with with Amaya and, and went to uh, who, where did she go for solace was who I Myra so she posted this provocative like I guess picture of her and Myra just after a video came out with her and some European guy and everybody was calling her or whatever so I'm like now I became curious about why Trudy would go to this colorist guy and that sort of is when I started watching I am Myra and I didn't really watch him much at the time I don't know how I ended up starting to get hooked, but it was because this guy was getting on my last nerves. Actually, I unsubscribed to him when he went to India and met Priya. That's when I unsubscribed. Um, but at some point, he was interesting. Despite all the fact that what everything that I said was true, but this guy, what fascinated me about him most was his ability to portray the colorist. Whereas it is being hidden and, uh, you know, double speech is being used to uh, confuse people about the colorism around us. He basically was videotaping the very things that I was experiencing that I was never able to capture. Because when I experienced colorism, people used things where I would be the only one that they would be communicating with, like the telephone, where I'm the only eyewitness to what I'm saying. So they could deny it and just say, this is just a crazy black woman. And that's, you know, they went on and on and on. And um, of course, I learned how to undo it by using social media. Um, and of course, stopping communicating communications and the, using the phones and those one-on-one -on -one communications. I started using uh, Facebook. And if you want to talk to me, you got to talk to me publicly on Facebook. And that's how I was able to undo the psychology. Well, I remember I bought for me a new solace where he was actually showing this is what happened to you that you couldn't talk about. And here I am, the idiot colorist, showing it and despite all of it. And the nice thing is that he it behaves the same way. You know how they're like, oh, well, you know, screw you. Like, you know, who cares about what you have to say? I'm going to do my own thing. It's my own opinion. Well, that, well, and Mara Mar is actually not as bad as the average colorist. Um, at, I can't say as the average colorist. As those, the type of colorism that I've experienced were people who are using social engineering to make me serve them and pretending not to be colorist, whereas I knew it underneath, but they used the social engineering because they knew that I didn't have people to back me up. So um, they used things like family, my own people who claim to be my biological relatives to actually gain the power that they had to get access to me in order to be able to do their colorism and to use that as a me mechanism of destroying me. So I am my Ira is presenting himself as the fool like and the interesting thing is about those women who he you know taught the West African women um, black beauty and um, Modeste um, he actually promoted them by the way you know and he realized that he promoted them but it was already too late but um, anyway whether he was gonna and he, he made it better for them even though he, they, they already made their name out there and um, so so they're really on his case about every little eon he did because not because they are on his case it is because of the very same thing because Myra is an interesting character so um, I need to probably 
grab some clips to show why it, he is sort of like a social psychological genius in the area when it comes to black colorism. Uh, he, he is ironies of ironies. He is creating the ironies within ironies uh, to create, create the paradox of black colorism for black men because he is representative of the black colorist man. And um, he is very consistent at it, which is very psychologically healing to those women who are ex who experience who have experienced or experiencing or well experienced um, colorism from men um, for us dark skinned black women who are the Mara's consistency shows you the consistency of the colorist in your their, your life like um, these people who are colorists they have no intention of doing you good so if they deceived your relative or if they deceived you in order to get to you to deceive you um they will be very consistent at their exact intent which is not to promote you but to promote those who have european traits and women for that to promote those women so mara is very consistent he is showing you himself as promoting women of non-european traits and of course he shows you that he only you know he helped yes his blacks in kenya including his sister um, and he's helping the dark skins, you know, who are coming to ask him for help. But at the same time, the ones he voluntarily, happily, does promote are light-skinned European trait women. He is very consistent. And that consistency is the very consistency of reality. Whether it is men that you are seeing from afar who you don't know, you just watch them practicing it, or men who are who come into your life, or those who are in your life. It could be your brother uh, or sibling or um, your sibling, your cousin or somebody, those who are your immediate relatives or those who come into your life and pretend to want to be an immediate relative in order to try to destroy you. Um, his consistency helps create the reality so that nobody can come and tell you that you're, uh, you're lying, you're crazy, you would belong in a mental institution for saying these things. I am Mara is showing you that these are that's the reality of colorism. And we're not crazy. Uh, they may put, they may use social engineering, like, you know, create a whole society of people to tell you that you're wrong. But I am telling you, even if you are, I, because I wasn't that you, I had nobody, not one person tell me that I'm right. What made me think I'm right? Well, it was the stupidest thing because it had nothing to do with, um, street smart, but it had to do with book smart. Um, it was because I thought, well, you know what? I was a straight A student and in high school, I made it first to college. I had a full schol academic scholarship in college. I'm academia. And, um, therefore these people, they supposedly don't have as much education as I am, but they are turning out to be socially smarter. And, um, they are using that against me because they have the social support. They have the social um, intelligence, you know, which is the whole, everybody goes for them. Be it that they are after their hair, their skin color, or their ability to destroy the dark skin race of women, okay? They, these, the whole crowd was after them, and they, for they had the whole crowd behind them, and you didn't have anybody. So they could tell you, uh, go to a hospital, lie to the hospital, have you, um, Baker acted, okay, and un unless you really have the, the strong ability to fight them, when you are naive, you're young, you haven't un understood or come to um, terms or across that kind of social um, attack, okay, they will Baker act you and put you in a mental institution for being mentally unstable. And then you have to find your way out because if somebody does that to you, it's like nothing you say is being validated. So that's like voodoo. I think this is what Vodou is all about. They, they, um, you know, you think it's psychological, it's social psychological because, um, maybe, and then it, of course it will definitely have implications on your life. <laughs> you have to understand that. Um, it, when the whole world stands against you and you might say, that's not logical. How could the whole world? Yes, the whole world can stand against you. Okay. I, I know it can happen, but that doesn't mean that you're wrong. 
okay uh if you are a pro uh like an anti uh nazi doing the nazi era in germany that was a whole world standing against you okay um so you can have the whole world stand against you but that doesn't mean that you are morally ethically or logically wrong okay they may be morally ethically and logically wrong you've seen that in crowds many a time they are you know crowd madness you know they are morally ethically and lo illogically wrong but they will put it as a crowd to empower themselves I, and they use it and call it democracy right um that's their democratic um unethical uh demonization i would say um and that's what happens you know I, the salem witchcraft trials i guess would, would be one that they would consider as such uh, the holocaust salem witchcraft trial when the whole society turn against those that they are attacking you know so um when they break baker act you without when you are you know especially like okay they baker act you because i don't even know now i can't really see a justification for baker acting a person unless they were always there for you but imagine people who's never there for you and all of a sudden they just come and they baker act you um maybe because you're looking for the truth from them uh, be, because they claim to be your family per se which is like uh, that is criminal you know why are you going to claim to be somebody's family if you are acting like you want to kill them you want to destroy them for their race or whatever so anyway mara um he is a genius in what he is doing um yes he f seems very rough and rugged um as he promotes he is promoting his culture in that manner um yeah which one respects sometimes it we we like okay yo man you're no longer in kenya you know you're in america be a little bit more etiquette <laughs> yeah at least the people around you are practicing etiquette and things like that like right now it's like for crying out loud these people are representing the etiquette of etiquette when it comes to culture with their french you know the cameroonians um but nonetheless um my, there's something ingenious about Mara's um, absolute uh, stubbornness and um, his absolute way of making you angry over and over again without surprises, no surprises with Mara. There's an ingenious about it, which is actually healing you from the very thing that he is caught, that he is doing to instigate and make you angry. He is actually not healing the just uh, mild observer. He is healing the victims of colorism. That's all I had to say. Thank you. Bye-bye.